Isotropic means that when you look in that direction, or that direction, or that direction, or that direction. Now, of course, if you look right at a star, it looks a little different than if you look at the, away from the star. But on the whole, averaging over patches in the sky and looking out far enough so that you get away from the immediate foreground of our own galaxy, the universe looks pretty much the same in every direction. Okay. That's called isotropic. Same in every direction. All right, now, if the universe is isotropic, with one exception that I'll describe in a moment, if it's isotropic around us, then you can bet with a high degree of confidence that it's also pretty close to being homogeneous. Homogeneous doesn't mean it's the same in every direction. It means it's the same in every place. If you went out over there and you looked around from, uh, from uh, uh, 16 galaxies over and you looked around what you would see, you would see about the same thing you saw here. So first of all, what's the argument for that? Why does being isotropic which means the same in every direction, tell you anything about why it would be the same if you moved away to a very distant place. Imagine that we're over here, and every direction that you look in, it looks pretty much the same. Well, then I maintain that not only must it be the same in every direction, but it must be the same from place to place. What would it mean for it not to be the same from place to place? Well, if it's isotropic, the only way it could not be homogeneous is if it, uh, if it somehow formed rings of some sort. In other words, it would have the geometry of some sort of shell-like structure. Why? It, it doesn't literally mean shells, it just means if that were the case, if that were the case and you went someplace else and you looked around, clearly it wouldn't look isotropic anymore. So for it to look isotropic, Unless, by accident, we just happen to be at the center of the universe. If we happen to be at the very center where everything just accidentally, or not accidentally, maybe by design, happens to be nice and rotationally symmetric about us, if we don't want to believe that, then we have to believe it's pretty much the same everywhere, and that it's homogeneous. So homogeneous means that, as far as we can see, Space is uniformly filled, on the average, with particles. Uniformly filled. Okay. That's called the cosmological principle. Now, you can't... Why is it true? Well, how can it not be true? It's the cosmological principle. A clear night sky is filled with stars in every direction. It is almost as if you are at the center of the universe, but throughout history, humans have falsely believed that Earth, the Sun, or even the Milky Way galaxy were at or near the center of the universe. No matter how unique we humans believe ourselves to be, the universe has thus far proven otherwise. In actuality, the universe has no center because since the Big Bang occurred, the universe has been expanding, but contrary to its name, the Big Bang was not an explosion that radiated outward from a central detonation point. The universe was initially extremely compact and small. Then, all points in the universe expanded uniformly, a process that continues to this day. Approximately 14 billion years ago, the Big Bang initiated all known existence, and a common misunderstanding is to imagine it as an explosion. As the universe came into existence, space and time were created. There was no explosion, or if you want, there was an explosion-like process that occurred in all space in the same time, but imagining it as an explosion leads us to believe that it originated from a single point. There is no universe's center because there is no universe's edge. In a finite universe, space is curved such that if you travel billions of light years in a straight line, you would eventually return to your starting point. But there is also a possibility that our universe may be infinite. Big Bang occurred everywhere in space and time, and because there was no single point where it began, all distances in the universe were zero, so every point in the universe was essentially in the same location everywhere. The visible universe spans approximately 94 billion light years across, and considering this, 
we are at the center of it. According to cosmologists, what we observe has two crucial characteristics. It is isotropic and uniform. Isotropic means that it appears identical in any direction, and it is uniform if it appears identical at the largest scale. Big Bang occurred everywhere in space and time, and because there was no single point where it began, all distances in the universe were zero, so every point in the universe was essentially in the same location everywhere. These facts provide some insight into the universe as a whole, which is much larger than the visible universe, because we do not yet know how much larger or what the entirety of the universe is like, so our portion of the universe could be unique or representative of the whole. The universe being infinite is the simplest scenario to deal with because something that is infinite lacks a central point. The problem is that the human brain did not evolve to comprehend the concept of infinity, but if something continues indefinitely, we can assume there is no particular halfway point. However, it is not certain that the universe will continue forever. It is possible that it have a boundary but with no end, like a sphere as example of an object with a definite center, but no end if one travels on its surface. Based on our knowledge of the physical universe, our experience does not apply to the entirety of the universe, as the geometry with which we are most familiar does not correspond to the geometry of a finite universe. We must deal with the concept of curvature, despite the fact that our brains are not designed to handle space like curvature in three dimensions. The total amount of mass and energy in the universe determines whether or not it is flat or curved. If the universe's mass and energy density are just right at the so-called critical density, then it would be as flat as a sheet of paper and expand at an accelerating rate. If the density is greater, the universe would be curved like a balloon, and the additional gravity from this increased density would slow the expansion of the universe, eventually bringing it to a halt. Meanwhile, below this critical density, the expansion of the universe would accelerate even further. And in this scenario, the universe would have negative curvature and would resemble a saddle in shape, but it would still be infinite and centerless. Following latest theoretical concepts and observations points to a universe that is remarkably flat, but cosmologists are still uncertain as to whether the universe is truly flat or if the curvature is so great that the universe only appears flat, consistent with the cosmological principle, which states that no location in the universe is unique, the universe lacks a center, and, and by extension, a boundary. Observations of the distribution of galaxy clusters in the cosmic microwave background reveal a universe that, when viewed from a sufficient distance, appears uniform everywhere. If you consider only the surface of a sphere, then it lacks a center and have no boundary if one would walk on its surface. But the sphere's center is located outside of this area, so it is not real in a sense that is not on the surface where the 3D universe would be. The center of a sphere exists in the three-dimensional space in which it is embedded, but if there is only two-dimensional space, there is no center. In conclusion, the universe lacks a central point because the center of the universe is not located in our 3D spatial dimensions. The center of the universe is not located in the 3D universe, so the universe doesn't have a center located in space. Its center seems to be located in the fourth dimension. Our physics operates in a four-dimensional space-time continuum, and when viewed in more dimensions, the curvature may suggest a central position, but if there is one, it does not exist within our universe as we know it.